my beautiful Virgos and welcome to your general reading. Today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes to the channel. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal or information on how to do so is in the description box below. Sorry, it always feels like there's something like in my eye. Okay, my apologies, okay. So I got a download for you before I started. So I'm getting something about your words have power. So there may be a service or something that you, you are receiving and you're not too happy about it. I feel like you may speak to a manager or a supervisor or you're gonna be speaking to somebody that's in charge or above whoever the person is that's providing you this service. And something that you say is gonna create a huge shift um, when it comes to the company. Like um, someone may actually change a policy or implement a new policy based on something that you said because you know how us virgos are it's just like listen um that isn't right because i feel like i feel like you're telling someone like <laughs> i'm not gonna say you're telling someone how to run their business but there's something that someone's doing and you just you know like i said especially if someone's in service to you and it's almost just like well actually why don't you do it this way or you're not doing it correctly or something like that but i feel like whatever you say you know someone you're causing a huge shift when it comes to the way that someone manages something or how they produce something okay i'm hearing like it's all because of that virgo okay it's all because of you virgo but anyway that's just for a small portion of you it will make sense at a different time so let's just see what the overall energy is for my beautiful virgos Okay, we got two cards that wanted to come out. Do I want to take these? No, let's put it back because I didn't like that combination. Okay, so we have oh so unique. That's better. And an oh so naughty. I don't know what is going on with this, this naughty card. There are so many cards in this deck. I think it's like 78. And oh so naughty has come up for like about five signs. So what's what's going on? Is everybody on heat? Okay. Honestly. So we have oh so unique as your overall energy and oh so naughty. So Something that you're doing is very unique. It's also very naughty. It's very um against the grain, against society's norms. It's very cheeky. It could be very sensual, very sexy as well, very taboo. This could also just be how someone views you, okay? Or how you're viewing something, okay? But something is unique. You could also be looking for something very unique. This could be for like your place, your apartment. This could be like an outfit. This could just be an idea or a concept, okay? You want something unique, striking, a little, a little bit naughty, a little bit rough around the edges, okay? And I, I feel like that's very outside of your energy, Virgos, because, you know, a bit of an o like OCD perfectionist, but that, that's what it is. I feel like you're looking for... Um, I'm, I'm getting, like, um, perfection in the imperfections, okay? So I feel like you want a unique piece. This could be a piece of art, but there's something that you want. You just want... You want something that not everybody has access to, okay or maybe you have something that's very unique and you kind of feel quite cheeky like yeah i'm you know i'm the only person that has this he 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 <laughs> okay but let's just let's just see where this is going also i feel like you need to be more unique okay so maybe you're trying to think about how you can um stand out from the crowd or how you can separate yourself from other people just do something different so, you know, like like it says, if everyone's being nice, be naughty. If everyone's going left, go right, okay? So, this is for my beautiful Virgos. Okay, gorgeous. So, we have, um, I am receiving messages from my ancestors. And at the bottom of the deck, I am sassy. No, no, no. I am sassy and sexy. I am a queen just kind of wanted to pop out, okay? So I feel like you, you want someone to know that. Like, listen, I'm a queen or I'm a king, okay? You respect me. So, you know, that is that is kind of like breaking through. So I'm getting also some of you may have a breakthrough, okay? But yeah, I feel like, you know, there's it's almost like you had sass when it came to an authoritative figure or somebody in high status, but they're going to really respect you for that, Okay, because with the oh so unique and oh so naughty, it's just like, wow, like no one ever like talks to me like that or no one has really checked me. I'm hearing like you checked someone, okay, or you're going to or you need to. Okay, I am receiving messages from my ancestors though. So you're getting a lot of downloads. I feel like you have a unique connection to your ancestors as well. Okay, so you're going to find this out about yourself. 
about your guides or how you receive your information or someone is trying to figure out you know how do you do what you do or how are you the way you are or where did you get that idea from and it's just like the reason why i'm so unique is because you know that my ancestors literally f lived through me so i feel like you have like a great connection to the ethers okay um so check what's in your ninth house okay maybe you have pisces in your ninth house which is your opposite sign or you could have sagittarius it's ruling house in the ninth house okay or like aquarius or something so check what's in your ninth house or check what's in your palace um which is represents our wisdom and our thoughts okay check what what's in your palace so we have i am kind and giving that wanted to come out at the bottom of the deck we have i am attracting pure love this card also keeps coming out gorgeous okay so love is here your ancestors have brought you some kind of love or your ancestors love you i feel like you're thinking about something kind that you can do for your partner okay maybe you want to um I don't know, I feel like you want to make it up to someone or you just want to make someone really happy or you just want to express your love. So maybe you're just thinking to your, to, the, to yourself, you're, you're saying to your ancestors, okay, how can I make the situation right or what can I do, okay? I just heard, how can I redeem myself, okay? So what did you do, Virgos? I don't know. But maybe it's not about redeeming yourself. I feel like you just want to just be giving. I feel like you really love someone and you just want to give to them. Yeah, we've got I'm spiritually gifted underneath. That's why I was getting that Pisces energy, your opposite. So you could be dealing with your opposite sign, okay? I feel like you have a strong spiritual connection with this person. Definitely could be dealing with someone that's across the world or someone that just keeps you grounded. Could be an earth or um, a fire sign or they could have a lot of earth and fire sign placements. Okay. I feel like as well, if this is like a loving situation, this, you, this love is very unique. It's very rare and original and incomparable to anything that you have ever felt before with the oh so naughty at the bottom of the deck also. Okay. I just heard my ancestors love you. So I feel like your ancestors love whoever you love, if that makes sense. It's like my ancestors telling me, you know, I love that person for you. Maybe your ancestors brought this together or you're going to get a download about love. But I feel like, yeah, something about being kind and giving. So I feel like maybe you need to be a bit more kind and giving or a lot of people are going to give towards you. Maybe people are going to be a lot like affectionate excuse me but i'm hearing a unique gift i feel like you want to get someone something that's different but also something that's a bit cheeky okay maybe this is like lingerie you could be trying to figure out what you want someone to wear okay like you want to buy someone something that's something sexy somebody wants to buy you something sexy we have the spy that wanted to come out which is on top of I am receiving messages from my ancestors. So your ancestors are definitely watching you. They're definitely looking out for you. So they want you to pay attention to your surroundings. So yeah, pay attention to unique things because I feel like you're going to be citing something that's just very um, out of the ordinary is what I want to say, okay? There also could be someone who's like watching you as well. Like I said, someone's trying to figure out oh, how do you do that? I feel like you're so amazed by someone's brain. You feel like they're a spy, and it's like, I'm not a spy. I just got it like that. Yeah. Oh, we have the hopeless romantic at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah. Oh, so I feel like so some of you, you're watching your lover or your lover is watching you. See, I feel like they're thinking about doing something nice for you. Oh, stop it, pop it. It's almost like I'm seeing someone having a conversation with the divine. Like, what do I get her? Like, what do I get him? Or, oh, that's, so, that's, that's real cute real cute oh and then we have the teacher interesting and at the bottom of the deck yeah we have the indecisive that's what i'm getting i feel like you're trying to figure out what to do what to give maybe you've got two different things as well and you kind of want to blend them together because you want something to just be unique and different i also feel like you have different sides to you as well so it's almost like someone is like they're confused by you but they're amazed and they're like what the hell we have the teachers. I feel like with the spy and the teachers, someone is studying you. They're trying to learn from you or they're trying to learn you. They're trying to understand you. But I feel like really this person is trying to understand you because they want to know what to give to you. They want to know what it is that you like. Somebody also may feel like, you know, maybe you know exactly what someone likes. And they're just like, how do you know that? Okay. I also feel like someone's got two different gifts or two different options. And they're just, they, they can't decide which one they want to present to you, if that makes sense. 
Okay. Now, if this is a, a, a decision between two people, I feel like you're going to go for the person who's unique. Because I feel like the oh so naughty card, I feel like someone is only interested in like sex. And with the teacher card, you want to be with someone who can teach you something. Who you can learn from. I feel like this is how you view someone as like a teacher or a mentor. Because I feel like someone here is very wise with the ancestors card. Okay. So yeah. Let's just see. Whew. Let's clarify with the tarot. Let's clarify with the tarot. What is coming towards my beautiful um, Virgos? I was thinking, who am I reading for for a second? We have the Ace of Wealth. So here is your energy. Or you could be dealing with a... Um, Capricorn or a Taurus, so an opportunity is coming towards you. This could be a money opportunity, okay? If you have a new business, you're going to receive, um, you know, like your first paycheck or your first order, okay? Or somebody's going to present something to you. Now, also, I feel like some of you have like a wealth of knowledge. You are just gifted, okay? Because this is on top of the I am receiving messages from my ancestors. So I'm hearing something about dropping gems or you're about to catch a big gem, okay? Or you are the gem. You are the diamond, Okay, I just heard diamond in the rough. Okay, but I feel like you're going to get an amazing idea to make some kind of money. Now, again, with the indecision card at the bottom of the deck, we've got the two of swords, the two of wisdom. So I feel like there's something that you're kind of, I feel like when it comes to your money, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do or you don't know, maybe you've got two businesses and you just don't know which one you want to focus on first. Okay, but definitely a financial opportunity is coming towards you. But I feel like you've got two good opportunities and it's very hard for you to decide. Okay, again, I feel like somebody wants to get you something. They want to get you a gift. But um, they, it's very hard for them to, to settle on what, which one. Okay, gorgeous energy, Virgos. We have the divine feminine, beautiful. So the empress, this is you or you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Okay, but yeah, someone just thinks that you have a beautiful mind. You see how, you know, the trees are just growing out of her hair. Okay, so you're just... You're natural, naturally beautiful, naturally abundant, naturally gorgeous, but just of pure divinity. So, yeah, oh, so unique, okay? So, I'm getting, like, a beautiful teacher or a beautiful lesson, okay? But, yeah, you just want to give to someone because they're just gorgeous and they just help you to grow, okay? So, this is really, really beautiful energy. Oh, I just had a beautiful turnout as well. So, you know, like I said, if you're investing in something or if you're buying something or if you're buying something for someone, they're really going to love it. I definitely feel like it's something to do with their beauty or their body. So it could be like clothing or jewelry or like I just heard gems. So you could be getting someone crystals. But something is just so gorgeous here. Now, if this is love, I feel like you just you're so in awe of your partner. It's like, oh, my goodness, I'm so lucky. You're so gorgeous. Like, I feel that's what you feel like every time you look at someone, you just you just. It's, it's almost like you just fall in love with them all over again. I feel like there's something about someone's hair that you really like. Wow. We have the nine of emotions at the bottom of the deck. And I did mention Pisces earlier. I did say you could have Pisces in your ninth house. I did also say that Pisces is your opposite sign. So, okay, so you could definitely be dealing with a Pisces. But this is your wish fulfillment. So you're getting exactly what you want. Now, if, if your partner is... Like, say your, your, your partner is getting you a gift, because I feel like intuitively you might know. I feel like your partner is going to get you exactly what you've wanted. You're just like, how did you know I wanted that? Oh, my goodness. Okay? So something is definitely going in your favor, okay? You're, you, you wish for something, and it's here. You're underneath that as the universe. The universe is, listen, like, we heard you, and we're about to provide. Okay, so gorgeous energy. Beautiful. <laughs> so let's pull a love card. Ooh, I feel a bit sleepy. So that's how somebody makes you feel like dreamy and, you know. So let's put a love card. What is coming towards my beautiful Virgos? Well, that was a lot of cards. Okay, this is for Virgo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have the subservience. So this is where the naughtiness is coming from. It says dominant submission and control. Yeah. So I feel like you want... You want to give to someone, but you want to take. Like, I'm hearing, like, let me take what's mine or you're mine. Like, someone just wants to grab you, okay? Because I feel like that's how, when someone looks at you, this is what they want, okay? <laughs> Someone's like, I want to give to you. I want to give it to you. I want to pleasure you. I want to please you. I want to indulge you with the Nine of Cups card here. Woo, good gosh, okay? My, my energy is just, woo. 
I just feel really hot. So I don't know what's happening here, people, but something very naughty is happening, okay? It's a very unique relationship. I also feel like the sex with you guys is very unique. It's just like you just do things that just other people just don't do, and it's just absolutely mind-blowing. My goodness, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Woo! We got that in your last reading, Virgos. Oh, so naughty, naughty. So what's going on? Okay, we have the soulmates at the bottom of the deck. It says perfect match, true love, and lesson slash blessing. Oh, beautiful. So this is your... And look at this. We've got the kundalini underneath. Stop it. Pop it. Okay, so this is definitely your perfect match. Definitely a divine couple here okay this is your this is your lesson and your blessing is what i'm getting so with the teacher card this is what i'm saying i feel like you give what you give is what you get and you know you you guys give each other things okay it's like the knowledge of life okay so this is so beautiful i feel like you almost have to control yourself or someone has to control themselves around you. But yeah, the soulmates, you know, I'm attracting pure love. This is absolutely gorgeous. You know when you just don't want to clarify just in case, you know, but let's just clarify. I want to clarify the ace of wealth. I also feel like, because with the spy card, I feel like your partner watches you a lot more than you are aware of. Okay, well, this could be you. Yeah, we got the, the world here. And then we got the lovers. Oh, no, the two of cups. Sorry. I don't know why I said the lovers, but, you know, same difference. Okay, so this is really beautiful energy. But yeah, the world... So I feel like for some of you, um, I feel like you're going to be making money around the world or the world sees you. The world is going to be supporting you, particularly uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo or a Taurus. Okay. But yeah, a lot of lessons have been learned, especially when it comes to love. I'm getting like the cycle of love. Okay. Maybe you reconciling with someone as well. I'm hearing cheers. I thought like there's a reason for you to celebrate. I'm getting something back like a wine date. Or somebody likes to drink beer. Maybe your partner drinks beer or you drink beer. Okay. So let's get an important message. It says, it's easier said than done, but you still have to do it. And you need to face the facts. Maybe you need to face the fact that you're in love. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, there's something that you have to do. I feel like it's a new business or there's just... So you have to just make a decision, but I feel like it's about a gift. Okay. And then it says you need to embrace the challenges and um, you need to stop telling people your business, okay? So if this is something to do with your love life, don't tell anybody about your love life or what you got going on. If this is a new business that you're starting as well, don't tell anybody. I just feel like apart from your love, I feel like you need to keep something like in a tight circle here, okay? Um, but yeah, but something is not easy, but you have to make that decision. So buy the gift, make the purchase, do what you have to do, okay? And let's just pull one more. And it says you make a difference. Oh, beautiful energy. At the bottom of the deck, it says you are a badass, okay? So thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Let me know in the comments. Bye.